If you're into trophy hunting, then online trophy communities can be a great support. However, sometimes I find that trophies are massively overhyped. And that was the case with one trophy in Psychonauts, which I was playing on my PS5 through PS4's backwards compatibility on the PS2 version of the game, which is kind of a weird concept in a way. It's like game inception there almost. And I was doing pretty well with the trophies, unlocking quite a lot, but I noticed there was one trophy at the very bottom of the list, I Love Punching, that I have yet to unlock, but it was for completing the punching target mini game, which was strange because I thought I kind of did that once I unlocked the training course trophy at the beginning of the game. So, wondering what this was, I decided to look it up online to see exactly how you unlock this trophy, and it was here where I started to find some strange things around this trophy, as a lot of people were claiming that this was a really, really hard trophy. And when I looked online on YouTube, I found even more videos of people raging about this trophy and how brutal it was. God, I just lost 10 points like it was nothing, so we're gonna reset. Oh my god. So I soon realised that this training course actually had five separate stages, each increasing with difficulty every time you attempt them, as when I first played this I just did the first one and carried on with the level, so I would now have to go back and do all of these to get the trophy. It's a little frustrating. I've kind of raged a couple times. I threw my controller earlier, let's be fair. My like $45, $60 controller, whatever. I was quite surprised as I started reading these posts on PSM profiles about this trophy as people were saying this was really, really hard and they were resorting to really strange methods to try and get the trophy from playing it using a VR headset to changing settings on your TV. I mean, Christ, is this trophy really that hard? 50. And I just raged. I mean, I just lost it. Damn. Damn. Oh, this is, this is, oh. oh my god. I bet most people who record this, like, don't record audio just because they're, like, raging the whole fucking time. At this point, I was wondering why it was so hard for people, as it does have a 17% unlock rate, which is pretty decent. This should be so, so simple, and, like, it's not. It's really not. The controls are super dated. Sometimes the bump on the uh, top of the button can get in your way, and like you'll miss a punch by just a fraction of a freaking inch. Damn. Uh, as you can see, I've, this is the reason I have not been playing Psychonauts right here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to platinum this, I'll be honest. I, I did manage to beat two rounds earlier, so I felt pretty good about that. But uh, this is the last round. This is the only one I need. It is so frustratingly hard. I've been grinding away at it for days. This trophy just seems like a platinum blocker and a real curveball against all the other trophies, as the difficulty for the whole game is rated a 3 out of 10. What the hell? I'm missing like 5 or 6 in a row, which makes you lose points. Oh my god, this is so ridiculous. As you can see, this gets a little frustrating. The controls are a little dated. It's a PS2 remaster for um, PS4 here. I'm playing it on. So after reading some more posts, it seemed that problems occurred due to the game's wonky frame rate, as this was a really bad PS2 conversion in the first place, and the game's age makes the controls feel stiff and wonky, so I think it's more of a case of the game being old and hard to play than the actual challenge being hard, and that's why the trophy is tough. This is serious, you guys. This is for a silver trophy too, so at least it's not a bronze, at least they don't insult me. Because that would be an insult, let's be fair. And be like, hey, we're only going to give you a bronze for, you know, this complete 15-hour screaming at the top of your lungs nest. Son of a bitch. Ha! <laughs> ah! So after seeing all this, I just thought, oh my god, what have I gotten myself into here? This is a case of another bullshit trophy just thrown in a list that really doesn't belong there because it's just so out of touch with all the others in terms of difficulty, and the internet just hyped this one up big time. The rest of you will die. Holy shit, this is going to be a right pain in the ass to unlock, isn't it? I can just tell. Is this some kind of test? 
So, what happened next? Well, like any good psycho psychonaut, I put on my goggles and prepared to face the challenge that lied ahead. One way or another, I was gonna get this. Great. So the first challenge I faced was actually finding the right doorway to go back into the level because I hadn't actually done this before, I'd just been going into the, straight into new levels every time but eventually I found the right bloody door and walked back to that level where I was told there wasn't much left for me here other than to mop up the collectibles but before I started to get all of the figments I had another bigger challenge in front of me and that was going back to the obstacle course and doing that training section by the cannon. So thankfully I used a little worm thingy to teleport me back there so I didn't have to run through the whole level so that was good and I was now ready to face the ultimate challenge, the ultimate trophy in Psychonauts and I could see it, the course was there in front of me so I ran over to it and as I ran forward I began to doubt myself, could I do this? Would I be able to do it? Was I about to be in for another 30 minutes of just pure rage as I desperately try to unlock this trophy? I began to imagine that guy in that video who was struggling and all those people on those comments in those forums, all those struggles they had with it. Would I be the same? Would I fare the same? Would I struggle as bad as they did? Or maybe even worse, was this about to be that one bullshit trophy? I had to put those feelings aside and I leapt into the air and did that slam. It was time, it was time for me to face this trophy head on and take on the challenge of Psychonauts' I love punching trophy. And so it began and one by one those targets appeared and I ran over and punched them. And when they were closer in that inner circle, I stood still and tried to just punch them from where I was standing because I felt that if you move, you are wasting time and one by one the targets came up and I hit them down as soon as they appeared making sure I didn't hit those green baby ones because I didn't want to lose any points and eventually I started to get into a nice little rhythm bang 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 they were all going down until I actually did it straight away first time second stage of that challenge was complete so I thought wow that felt good. so next up was stage three so I hit the target, carried on through this one. I had to get more points on this one, and I think I had less time, so the pressure was starting to mount. But I tried to just keep my cool, and one by one the targets appeared, and I just knocked them down as quick as I could. When the targets were further away, I would run over and then just whack them. At this stage, I just couldn't believe it, as things just seemed to be going really well. Too well, almost, especially after hearing all that stuff about them. Because at this stage, I was feeling like Bruce Lee knocking out everything. It was crazy. I don't know how I did it. I was just in the zone. And before I knew it, another stage was down. And I was ready to do the next one, which was the fourth stage. But now I only had 75 seconds to get 40 points. Oh my god, okay, so this is where it's going to get tough, because this is where that guy said it was hard, because the second to last stage was the hardest one in his opinion. But, like before, I just, I just got into a zone, and I just started hitting the targets as fast as I could, and it was just going really well, I got into a nice rhythm again, trying to stick as close to that middle area as I could, just punching and moving as I punched, instead of moving to the target and then punching, and... Like before, it worked. It worked like a goddamn dream, baby. And number four was complete. But then I realized I'd actually miscounted there as this was the fourth stage now because I had to repeat the first one again, didn't I? So this was where it was gonna be hard now. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna fail now because this is where everyone was saying it was hard. But I just carried on and did the same tactic as I did before, trying to stay in that middle bit and only move when I punched already instead of moving to the target. And just like all the other stages before it, it worked. And I got through the real stage for that time. So now all that stood between me and the trophy for this challenge the I love punching trophy was stage five the final one where I needed 50 points and I had just 75 seconds in order to get them so as it started I just 
did what I did best and just punched everything I could see as quick as possible. And one by one those targets were going down and then I accidentally hit a green baby losing two points and I tried not to let that put me off and I still managed to keep focused and eventually some more babies would come up and they would give me a bit of time to just calm down and reflect because you could just wait for the enemy target to appear then. So it kind of set up the nerve a little bit and I just kept going, kept trying to hit the targets as quick as I could to try and build up that point score before the time runs out and uh, as luck would have it, I got it on my very first attempt. So this trophy that had been massively hyped, I actually did it with time to spare. Great old Drake! I don't think anyone's ever done the whole thing before. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I couldn't believe it. This trophy was so easy. After all that stress, after seeing all those posts about how hard it was, I just couldn't believe I did it first time. But I guess difficulty is subjective. And it's different for everyone. Some people may struggle, others might not. And both are fine, that's just normal. Everyone's yeah, different. To do this. So, this video isn't to say, look at me, I'm great, I got it first time. It's more of a thank you to Phil Nominal, because your struggles with this trophy helped me to do it first time and avoid the rage. So, the bullshit trophy rating for this is in your honour, Phil Nominal. This is for you. Bullshit. 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 You say Oh shit! Oh shit! 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 shit.